10 IFF members from Local 1619 raised over $10,000 for the first responders who lost their homes due to the devastating impact of Hurricane Harvey. The Chesapeake Church and End Hunger Calvert County, located in Maryland, got word of the fundraiser. They spread the word and received over 20,000 pounds of goods. With the help of the Chesapeake Church and End Hunger Calvert County, along with the men and women who donated money, the 10 IFF members were able to deliver all of the donations personally. Here's their story. We're all together. All together? We got a whole row? Whole row all to ourselves. Alright. I'm all about it. We're gonna put you by the emergency exit. Right? Yeah, you, you're the hero today. <laughs> you are the hero. Hero! The hero. <laughs> Here we Houston. go, headed to Houston. Carry board the flight. Yeah, yeah. Here we go, babe. Off to Houston. Right. Alright. DJ, you're my hero. All right, see y'all. Y'all be safe. All right. Hey, DJ, what? you're my hero. You're my hero. Yeah. Hey, 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 what are you doing? You sleeping? What are you doing? Trying to ignore y'all. <laughs> Jen, I love you so much. I miss you. I've only been gone two hours. I miss you so much, Jen. Huh? I love yeah, you. Yeah, we're going to the hotel. I love yeah, you so love much. I love, I love you so freaking much. I, I love you, Jen. Uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm really excited to get out there and start giving out these supplies and get to know you guys. Yeah. Back, come on, get in the back. He can bleep it out. This, Shush. 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 this Shush. thing's Shush. rocking. It's this rocking. It's rocking. rocking. Woo! Probably not safe, but we'll be all right. <laughs> well, put your seatbelt on. Cheat up, cheat up, driving. We good. Safety first. <laughs> Was the drive long? Wow. Long? Yeah. That, how that many hours? How many hours? 27. 27. 27 hours. hours. Hey, thank you guys for doing it so much, man. Hey, it was awesome. Awesome. We, we're here. All right. We're here. So I got to introduce you to my we family now. It. Absolutely. All righty. I seen you killing on the dance floor the other night, man. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I'm still getting breaks. She didn't even use no breaks to make this turn, man. Uh oh. Box uh -oh. Uh -oh. Box. Where we going, Ash? Uh oh. Box. 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 Yeah. Yes. There's the payload. I'm proud. I'd be in tough wow. shape. Wow. My goodness. Sad. That's no, insane. Olivia, Olivia picked up my insane. slack. In the I'd be, I'd be vomiting <laughs> the whole way. I think. Dude, I felt so slack. bad because he woke me up out of a dead sleep and was like, "Can you drive?" And I probably got an hour. <laughs>
Where are we going, guys? Uh, Where are they going? Woo! Let's get some food. Oh, Support the local men. firefighters. Get some food. Let's go. Let's get it. Miguel, you cooking? Oh, I ain't cooking. <laughs> I, I, I can't cook. It's probably you can fry some eggs. Up. Probably, we got the chef up front. It's gonna be Tony Wallace, the chef. It's probably uh, gonna be me and Tito. With, with assistance, yeah. Sous chef. Sous chef. Right Sous chef. Tito Wallach. Me. I can. I can. I can beat a mean egg. <laughs> All right, so we're here. We're on our way to the grocery store to uh, buy our brothers and sisters in the morning some breakfast. And we stopped and we saw all of this here. All these businesses lost everything. The church. Cars, churches, uh, food companies, uh, body shops. As you see here on the ground, all of this stuff is ruined. There's total cars that are lost. Uh, the, wind, the water was up to the to the doors. You can see it on the inside. Everything was ruined. Um, you know, it's a real tragedy and uh, definitely, def definitely something sad to see. So we're glad we're here. Uh, glad to see it firsthand, and uh, can't wait to uh, reach out to these people and make sure that they're all right. Yeah, we have insurance. Uh, they said that uh, they didn't cover outside the water, but at the same time. You know, we had roof damage, and then we had a pipe or something. Our sewage line had to bust also during the flood. Right. So we were supposed to actually meet them tomorrow wow. at 8 o'clock. So that's why I'm so upset because the stuff, we left everything like it is so they can see what we have lost and everything. Right. And then when I come back today, my stuff gone. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. It's gone. So I don't know how I'm explaining that. It's terrible. Yeah. Um, we just walked into this church. This guy just basically poured his heart out to us, telling us, about all the looters that came in and stolen stuff from him in the church. It just takes a real low life person to do something like that. I mean, it's devastating. Loss, I mean, businesses lost. It's, just, it's crazy, you know? This neighborhood here, this is literally trash from their houses that is flooded completely. We got sofas, beds, uh, appliances, uh, picture frames, clothes, dressers. Um, everything out of their homes are just piled on the street. Um, a real sad sight to see. All right, so right now we're at HEB. I said that right? Yep, yep. HEB. And we're getting a whole bunch of breakfast food for um, the guys over at one of the Houston firehouses. So we're here getting a whole bunch of breakfast food. And we're going to lay it down in the kitchen. Oh, live, live going on. Facebook Live. We're here in HEB. Getting some breakfast for the men tomorrow. Yes, sir. Them real good. Real good. good breakfast. This is the John Emmett breakfast fair. Tater tots and pancakes and whatever else because that's what he always used to cook. This is for you, John. So, everybody's sleeping upstairs. I'm going to go upstairs and film them sleeping. Came to Dunkin' Donuts. What time is it? Like almost five? Almost five. Woke up this morning, got on the road, four o'clock. We're gonna go visit these guys over here, cook them some uh, breakfast, bring them some coffee. <laughs> uh, this morning we came over to Station 93 in uh, Houston. Um, Captain Mo came over here, woke the boys up for breakfast. Got the crew in here working. It's gonna be a good morning. Everybody's starting to show up now, so. Over, automatic alarm. The sun is at the end. Got a call. Okay. I'm gonna go cook it. I'm gonna make my boy Vinny in here. You and Vinny? Vinny's got the bacon, I got the sausage. You got the sausage. Man in the griddle. Initially, we had a, a really good outpouring of help. A uh, number of firefighters from across the nation came down and gave us hands with demo. Uh, I'm a director for the union. We were able to knock out 177 firefighters between here and Beaumont, uh, their homes and, and such. Some of them are still underwater. 
uh, like we were just talking about Scott Beal, uh, District uh, 26 and District 83, which is about 40 guys each, are going to show up and take care of. Uh, going to take care of him at his house uh, tomorrow or Wednesday. So, when we were doing our evacuation boats, uh, I was telling somebody earlier, we ran over a car because we didn't see it. It was parked on the feeder. We hit it with our, our prop and. Uh, a couple days later, when the water started to reside, you know, you could tell which one she hit, which one she didn't. So it was, it was high enough. That's for sure. It's been a kind of a great experience. I mean, you know, through all the tragedy and stuff that was going on within the city, but just seeing Houston come together as a whole and seeing the different, you know, responders that's coming to the city, you know, it's been a great experience just seeing all that everything that's going on just like i said you know just seeing everybody come down and showing their love and support man it's just you can't ask for nothing more better than that man okay so we're out here in a neighborhood and pretty much all of the houses on the two blocks we just drove through have been gutted I'd say at least the whole downstairs have been gutted. I mean, we're out here, we see toys, there's beds, all the drywall. Um, it's a distinct smell out here. Everything just smells really wet. This is, this is terrible. I've actually never seen anything like this. Their whole lives are out here on the curb. You know, I can't imagine having my life out here on the curb like this. See where the line is in the house? That's how high it got outside. And inside, some piles got two feet, some got one feet. She's uh, 12 months. Okay, 12 months or really? About four or five. There's baby wipes. Here, watch it I would like to thank these gentlemen for stopping here and bringing me some donations. I really appreciate it. It's been a hard time, so thank you. And we said, you know what, we're going to keep taking care of our own. And we then put out and saying, you know, we had firefighters from across the country want to come and uh, help our firefighters demo their homes. Because, like I said, we had probably out of the 411, probably 350 were Houston, um, and their homes got floodwaters in it. So starting Thursday, we had crews going out demoing guys' houses, and we're up to over, that was as of last week, we're up over about 150, 160 of our own members' homes we've already demoed with firefighters that have come across the country. Um, the, then everything kind of focused on Beaumont because Beaumont got hit and they're kind of in a more of a bowl than we are. So then we took some of the vaccinations and we partnered up with uh, a play Team Rubicon. Uh, if you guys ever get a chance to meet them. How many fire stations did you lose, you said? Uh, four were completely underwater, two were flooded. Um, so in the 36 apparatus was the last count, which I think it's probably going to go up from there. So on behalf of all of us that have raised this money through the GoFundMe, um, like I said, it was over 12500 or something like that. Um, once all the fees and stuff came out, it was a little under $11,000. Um, we also, like I said, we have more money, but we were able to get $9,000 cash out, and we wanted to give it to you guys for the 501C. You know, the firefighters take care of firefighters. So. Hey man, that said, thank you very much. No man. problem. We appreciate man. it, and uh, we will tell you that we're going to put this money to good use, and it's Absolutely. going to go to the firefighters that have uh, lost their homes and that uh, are going through a really rough time. And I, I can't thank you enough on behalf of Houston. Absolutely, thank absolutely. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, these people, some of the areas that we've gone to. You know, these people in these communities that got flooded out are still helping, you know, these firefighters and these police officers and, you know, military, National Guard. So, I mean, that's just, I mean, the, just the community itself in Houston and around this area, talking to people, it's, I mean, it's, it's overwhelming for them, I'm sure, but it's also very humbling, you know, for me as an outsider coming from Maryland to see this. So, appreciate it, man. Unloaded a huge truck full of donation from all the people back in Calvert, all over. Thank you so much, Chesapeake Church. You have been so amazing for all the donations that you've racked up for us. We, you know, we're down here and everyone's so appreciative of, of everything that we've done. So thank you, 
thank everyone for all the GoFundMe uh, donations, all the cash donations, everything. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much. Jackie and Hunger, the whole Chesapeake community. I mean, without you guys, this this truck wouldn't have got down here. You know, um, Scott Canton, who was the owner of the BP that donated the truck. Huge shout out to you. Thank you so much. I mean, we we couldn't have got this down here without you. Like I said, you know, In Hunger always comes out. They always show out. Chesapeake Church, you always show out. Big shout out to everybody who donated to the GoFundMe, Venmo, cash donations, all of that stuff. Without you guys, these supplies would not have got here. And the Houston firefighters can't thank you enough. We had 400 firefighters get displaced, catastrophically lost their homes, and uh, this is all gonna go to people that really need it, and anything extra we're gonna try to send over to Florida. So we can't thank you enough. This is, I mean, outpouring support, it really means a lot to us, and just thank you. And uh, we'll definitely pay it forward if we ever get an opportunity. Yeah, catching it away. Ten. Catching the squat. Five. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, jump. Six. Oh. We did it. We did it. It's all out. Empty. Old people, don't jump. Don't want y'all to get hurt. Hurry up so I can see the truck empty. Empty. Look at that! The truck is empty! It's empty! by here because you know, I've been talking to you mm -hmm. about you know some of your members personally that are affiliated here yeah. so you can write I don't have a pen but there's five hundred dollars on each okay okay wow, and great. then I have cash in my pocket too so it's, it's appreciated that Absolutely. means a lot so I like you said I hope we never have the chance to repay the favor yeah however you know we'd love the opportunity right. to do so if it if he needs absolutely so. hey John Raddus this is what you used to put fires out with back in your day Rookies had to pull it right here. Yeah, where, where did the rookies have to pull it at? Right here. Right here? Right here. <laughs> they pulled it out the whip on there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just talking with some of the guys, the officers, the firefighters. Let them know we're here to support them as their brothers, sisters. Uh, we just donated $2,000. Uh, they had two members here that um, lost pretty much everything during the flood. I feel very blessed to be a part of this and uh, doing good things. So. We had like some money left over, just kind of wrap this up, get rambling on here, but we had some money left over. We stopped at the uh, at the last firehouse with um, with Captain Wilkie. Um, there was two guys there that he told us that got you know um, hurt just like you. We gave them um, we gave them a donation, um, and it was a uh, it was a five hundred dollar gift card to Lowe's and um, a five hundred dollar cash donation. We wanted to make it a point, you know, to you, you know, to come over here. Again, we have the um, gift card, and trust me, you're not going to say no because we already got it. All right, so here's the, there's the $500, and then here's $500 cash, man. Take it, do whatever you want, support your family, support your brothers, whatever you want to do with it. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank so you. I know you say you don't want thanks, but seriously, thank you. Uh, not only for helping our man, but uh, we understand what it's like getting away from your family. Right. You know, for I mean, you're away for a shift, and you're ready to come back. Absolutely. You're half Absolutely. country away. Yeah. And this is a hell of, yeah. a hell of a thing that you guys are doing. I really, we really appreciate it because we know how hard it can be. Uh, so, you know, seriously, thank you. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Definitely be careful on the way back home whenever yeah. you do get, you know, on the way back. I think tomorrow you said? Yeah, tomorrow morning we roll so out. Please be careful on the way back. Absolutely. Uh, same thing, if y'all ever need anything, please just contact us. You can call us direct. Okay. You know, it's not hard to find us, so right. need anything at all, give us a call. The water was to my doorstep, so I started humping as much stuff as I could, putting them on counters and uh, move my bed. I got a apartment garage. So I started putting as much stuff as I could up there. And uh, by the time I left, I had about two, three inches in the house and I had to book it out of there because uh, my street was getting, about, had about two foot of water by the time I drove out of there in my truck. But, uh, so we stayed at some friend's house and when I came back, I had 
lost my whole house. Uh, lost all my appliances, sheetrock, furniture, uh, stuff I wasn't able to move upstairs. Like I said, I feel blessed to have people like y'all from from other departments, of, but I mean y'all, what y'all did for me and for my family was truly amazing. It, it's a blessing. Uh, I can't thank y'all enough. I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know if y'all could tell inside, but I mean those tears were, you know, tears of thanks. Um, like I said, this is a real tough time for me and my family. Into it a little bit. Uh, we had some, you know, some cash left over, and. You know, after we, you know, got supplies handed out, uh, you know, got all these guys good meals, breakfast, dinner, stuff like that. Uh, there was, you know, several firefighters from here that were personally affected, um, and one of them guys is working today. He lost everything. We had that extra cash, like I spoke about, and we gave him a thousand dollars, five hundred in uh, gift card to Lowe's, um, and another 500 in cash you know I'm getting I'm talking from the heart here I'm getting a little choked up because it, uh, it hits home to see the tears rolling out of that guy's face and uh, just the happiness that came out um, everybody in that room felt the emotion coming from him I just can't imagine you know going through that you know my kids at home my wife at home uh, going through what he's going through um, so this trip right here if we didn't help another soul and we just came down here to help him, it was, it was all worth it. I would, I would do it again in a heartbeat, and I know that anybody else in my crew would.